All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another video for Fear of the Walking Dead leading into the third season. We got some recent news. Want to give my thoughts. Showrunner Dave Erickson is going to be stepping away, stepping down from being showrunner after season three. And I'll put the link in the description for you guys to Deadline.com. So you go ahead and check this one out. So this one is an important one for fear. Um, this is pretty big news. And definitely people message me. Definitely want to give my thoughts on this one. So Fear the Walking Dead showrunner Dave Erickson stepping down after Season 3. So he's going to be working on it, it sounds like, until the end of Season 3. But after that, he's it looks like he's pretty much done as far as being a showrunner. And he's going to be an executive uh, producer. So let's go into, we'll read it through and then we'll give our thoughts. Uh, we're beyond grateful for Dave's amazing work on the first three seasons of Fear the Walking Dead with Dave as showrunner. The series fulfilled its creative promise to expand the Walking Dead universe in a way that was totally unique from the original series and has gone on to become the number two drama series in ad-supported cable behind only The Walking Dead. So that's pretty cool to know. This is from Joel Stillerman, uh, President of Original Programming and Development for AMC and Sundance TV. So they've got it uh, listed as number two in terms of a drama series in ad-supported. So I think to say that, they have to include in, of course, uh, you know, HBO. And obviously, if they count that in, then Game of Thrones is, is you know, going to be uh, uh, higher than that, uh, higher than Fear of the Walking Dead. But in terms of, like, AMC and their type of model, uh, it sounds Sounds like fear is number two, you know, in that kind of demographic for what they're looking at, uh, which is great, it, it, you know, really good. Um, probably seen as a success, I would think. <clears throat> we are also incredibly excited that Dave has chosen to stay in the AMC family to pursue his next passion project. We look forward to many more successful collaborations. And then he said, uh, I have truly enjoyed working with the writers and directors, cast and crew on Fear, and am so proud of what we have accomplished over the first two seasons. Erickson said, I look forward to completing work on season three sharing it with the fans and developing new projects with my partners at AMC. Um, and that's all the details we have for right now. So you guys can check it out yourselves and, and read through it if you like. Uh, this one is kind of perplexing to me because it does sound like Fear is doing well, but it sounds like uh, Dave Erickson, the showrunner for Fear, the, for the first three seasons, is kind of being pulled from it. Um, it's probably not good news for Fear, I would have to say. Um, you know, most likely AMC is not going to want to lose their number two show. So I would predict or I would assume that Fear is going to continue with a, probably getting a fourth season and continue on past that. But the very fact that the guy who helped co-create it with uh, Robert Kirkman, because he's not just a showrunner, but he also was like a co-creator, sort of in the same way that Frank Darabont was a co-creator for The Walking Dead with Robert Kirkman. Um Dave Erickson is similar in that way to being the showrunner and kind of the guy to uh, get the show running in the first place for the first couple seasons and kind of creating something because I think that's probably the hardest part of any series is getting it to, to hook, getting the first season or two, getting people to watch it, and then after that you can kind of carry through and, you know, keeping going is difficult as well. But probably getting people to tune in and check it out for the first time and really grab an audience is probably the hardest part of, uh, of any show, I would think. So um, he's not going to be working on it anymore, but he's going to be working on other passion projects for AMC and Sundance. So he's going to be working on probably starting up some other uh, projects for them, some other shows, that kind of deal. Um, there's no details right now on what he's going to be working on next or what uh, what other TV series he'll be uh, you know he'll be doing uh, but I will be excited to see whatever you know he develops next because I really do like fear fear is as a number two as they would say fear is my second favorite show on AMC I, I would have to say of course that uh, Walking Dead always comes number one then Game of Thrones for me is, is pretty much next uh, but then you know fear is probably my next after that it's it's a really fun show and it's definitely one of my favorites so I hope it doesn't get canceled I don't think it's going to if if you look at the uh, the ratings for it, it started out the first season. You would definitely say the first season was a success with season one pilot getting 10 million views. That's the same amount as Walking Dead is getting right now uh, for its regular episodes. Uh, it carried through the season. It went 10, 8, 7, 6, 6, 6. <laughs> the point 6. Point 8, 6. Um, so, 
Yeah, so it did really well. You know, it started out the season at 10, finishing it up at 6. is still really good for a new show. I mean, compared into the Badlands and Better Call Saul and other shows like this they've had, uh, this is like better than Breaking Bad type numbers to give you an idea. That's, that's, that's huge. That's really huge for first season. The second season, of course, as we know, kind of died out a bit. It started at 6.6, and then it went down to 5, and 5.5, and then 4, and then into the 3s to finish up at about 3.05. So let's see how season 3 does i'm hoping season three will do pretty well um also um but if, again they're doing like 15 16 episode seasons now it's kind of into the regular thing that they're doing with walking dead i would envision that it will go on for a long time they've got the uh the passage um webisodes they've had the flight uh, 462 webisodes so i think they've done a really good job with fear and having it stand on its own especially the stuff with travis at the end of season two i think is my highlight for fear so far uh i like the environments i like all the different locations we've got to see in the zombie apocalypse mexico you know the abigail and uh, even la and everything so it you know i've really enjoyed fear a lot and i really hope it continues on for season four and onward but it's definitely not good news that they're losing the uh, the guy for that project anyway um but maybe in another way maybe it's okay we don't know the behind the scenes details because Maybe they've got that show in order, they've got it all in order, and now it can kind of just go on autopilot and kind of just continue through, and they can put other people in in charge and in place and maybe promote some people up that were working under him to carry the show through, and they want to get him to kind of try to create another fear or another Walking Dead or something else that could be a big hit for the show, because of course, or for the network, because... They've got Walking Dead, and that's great. Now they've got Fear, and that's pretty good too. Uh, Better Call Saul is going, but uh, obviously they're going to want to have some more, you know, some more shows out there um, that uh, that are going to do really well. And he's a good guy to get them started. So maybe it's okay. I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to bring to us next. I'll definitely check out whatever project he has next. I'll let you guys know when I find out, and uh, probably do a review for whatever it is, whatever project, whatever TV series he's going to be involved with next. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, here's hoping that Fear continues along strong uh, without him after season three, and hoping it does get a season. Four. Uh, it, this doesn't mean they're going to cancel fear, but um, also it's it's probably not great at the same time because you're taking off the lead guy who uh, jump started the uh, the show. But maybe it's okay because the same thing did happen with Frank Darabont in the original Walking Dead. Then Gimple came in and took over from after Mazar, and then it uh, continued to do really well, and the show expanded to new heights. So we'll see what happens. Um, not great news for fear fans, but. I'm hoping it'll be okay. I, I think it'll be okay, to be honest with you. Uh, they'll probably have somebody else in play, and they'll probably have something else in mind that uh, that they want him to work on, or maybe something else that he wants to do uh, now that Fear's off and running. Maybe he's a builder-type guy, a guy that... Um likes to build things, but doesn't like to maintain. <laughs> Hire someone else to maintain, like a construction worker or someone who builds houses or something. You know, uh, Builds it up to start, that's the exciting part, and then let someone else just carry it through and continue. So let me know what you guys think. Write your comments below and how you're feeling about uh, Fear. I believe it returns this June, June, July is somewhere around there. Don't have an exact uh, release date this time, but once I find one or they release one, I'll let you guys know. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share, you can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe on here, more info about Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead, as well as all kinds of other shows bottom left to subscribe appreciate all your guys support thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for supporting the channel for thumbing up the videos everything you guys do of course excited for tonight's episode of the walking dead original it's trav i'm saying peace see you guys soon later guys